On this Monday forecast, also a look ahead to some uh, milder temperatures on the way. And I think that'll be the big news this week will be weather wise, at least the uh, very mild air that will be surging into southern New England, starting with a hint of that for today. But the warmest days yet to come looking at the radar across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Nice and dry start this morning. Threat tracker low for today, Tuesday, as well as Wednesday. Again, no major storm systems. The temperatures the big story. Looking at our city cam in Providence, dry and mostly clear 25 chilly degrees to start this morning. Again, some frost on the windshield if your car has been parked outside. So plan on a few minutes to scrape off the windshield there. Providence from our hurricane barrier camera looking dry heading over the highway this morning. 28 the temperature in Coventry right now. We're starting to see those temperatures already starting to climb a little bit. So Rick uh, campus there in Providence around 27 28 in Seekonk right now. We're running at about 25 in Warwick and Westerly this morning at 21 degrees 30 now in Tiverton. Here's the satellite and radar. We do have some clouds that will be dropping down from the north and west. Part of a disturbance that will pass uh, to our north today. So we'll get intervals of clouds and sunshine and there may actually be some times where the skies are partly to mostly cloudy. I don't think it'll be all afternoon, but you will be dealing with those intervals of clouds and sun gusty winds as well. And the temperature will be up close to 50 degrees away from the coastline. What you're going to find for these highs this week is that it will not be as warm at the coast as what we're going to see inland. Inland areas got the best shot at climbing above 60 degrees at the coast. Well, today you're going to be in the 40s, even inland this afternoon, right around the upper 40s to lower 50s, so still warmer than normal. Not in the 60s today, though. We'll have to settle on near 52 in Attleboro, 51 in Seekonk, upper 40s in East Freetown. So we've got a ridge in the jet stream, this uh, jet stream traveling up to our north over the east coast of the United States, and that's going to allow that very mild air to come in. So this is just one computer model's take at some of the temperatures that are possible as we move through the afternoon and evening. So this is uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. You can see much of the northeast in the 60s. Here's what I'm thinking for high temperatures over the next few days, about 50 for today. Tuesday's high near 58. Wednesday in the 60s inland right around the mid to maybe some upper 60s. Thursday still looking at a high near 62 degrees, but we'll have some showers possible, especially towards the end of the day and at night. And it'll be cooler late in the week. Friday's temperature is near 51 degrees. The weekend though still looking